Are you coming back for patch 9.2? Or maybe you're fed up of playing that underdog spec and just want to re-roll the most OP spec for your roll. Well, you've come to the right place, as today we're taking a look at the best specs to main for each roll in patch 9.2, ready for the Cosmic Arena Season 3. Just a small disclaimer, this is of course entirely based on our educated predictions, consulting with numerous top players, taking into consideration any PvP related changes, and the addition of double legendaries and tier sets. As always, we'll be sure to make any changes once the season is underway, so check back to make sure you're always viewing the most up to date tier list available on our channel. But before we get into it, we wanted to remind you to check out skillcap.com slash wow. There you will find hundreds of PvP guides, including exclusive arena commentaries where pro players show you the exact strategies they use to win your toughest matchups. Joining costs as little as $4.99 a month, and we even include a money-back guarantee if you don't see rating gains while actively using our website. So if you really want to push rating this season and beyond, check out skillcap.com slash wow today. Let's start off with melee DPS and go over what we predict to be the best of the best for patch 9.2. Our first suggestion may come as a shock, but everything suggests survival hunter. Yes, you heard that correct. Survival Hunter is going to be one of the most dominant melee in essentially every arena bracket, making it a fantastic spec to main. Not as the result of any direct changes or buffs, but more so as the result of two new additions, first of which being tier sets, which survival just so happens to have the best out of any DPS class. As you can see on screen now, the two set gives you a 40% chance when kill command resets to make your next wildfire bomb incur no cooldown. As survival kill command has a 25% chance at resetting, this is then further doubled while coordinated assault is active. So it's very common you'll be getting these procs throughout a game, and while Wildfire Bomb is one of survival's hardest hitting abilities already. Then consider this, the 4 set not only passively increases Wildfire Bomb by 30%, but also deals 80% damage when using the free Wildfire Bomb. Okay, but hold on, there's more. This then synergizes further with the talent Wildfire Infusion, in specific the Pheromone Bomb, which gives you 100% chance for your kill command to reset. While this is active, you have the potential to just be throwing Wildfire Bombs every other global if you're lucky for 80% increased damage. Sold yet? Well, stay tuned, because that's only half the reason survival is going to be strong. The other being the addition of double legendary effects. Since legendaries were introduced, Hunter has been forced to play Craven Stratagem in almost all matchups. And if you've ever faced a hunter who hasn't, they'll almost certainly be using the pouch of razor fragments. This legendary is so strong that it can often be your top damage in some games. But as this is a Venthyr specific legendary, survival is now able to play their two strongest legendaries all the time. Overall, survival is set to be without a doubt the strongest melee in 2v2, and then in 3v3 will perform equally as well, having a ton of different composition options ranging from jungle, shadow priest survival, KFC, to even thug cleave. Joining Survival in our best melee domain for patch 9.2, time to act surprised, we've got Subtlety Rogue. Much like Survival, Subtlety essentially got zero direct changes, with their only slight nerf being a small adjustment to the Cloaked in Shadows conduit. And if you played last season, you'd understand why the lack of changes might be a little surprising, especially when you consider the fact that Sub Rogue was the highest rated melee on both the NA and EU ladder in Season 2. So essentially, Sub is the exact same it was in Season 2. You've got all the same control, all the same composition options, but just with the new additions of Tier Sets and Double Legendary. Tier sets as a whole are not massive for sub. The two set is decent and has the potential to provide you with some nice added burst damage during your setups. The four piece on the other hand is almost more of a hindrance. The big change here though are double legendaries. Sub rogue is definitely in contention for best double legendary options. The reason for this is the Kyrian Covenant legendary resounding clarity. This was already the go to legendary for sub rogues for the huge damage boost it provides, but now they can pair this up with an additional class legendary of their choice. You could pair this up now with Invigorating Shadow Dust, giving you a lower cooldown on all of your abilities, including Blind and Smoke Bomb. Or if you wanted some overkill damage, you could even play Mark of the Master Assassin. Another very valid reason to suggest Rogue as a class to main is the fact going into Season 3, Sub Rogue, Fire Mage, and Holy Priest are all for the most part either stronger or the same in terms of strength. So no matter what, you're always going to have an S tier composition to play in 3v3. And then for 2v2, you can still perform extremely well with either a Priest or Mage. Definitely a very safe suggestion if you want a strong melee for patch 9.2. 
Next up, we've got our two recommendations for range DPS specs to main in 9.2, first of which is, of course, going to be Fire Mage. If you played last season, you already have a pretty good idea why Mage was without a doubt the most dominant caster by a very big margin. Well, they obviously got some nerfs, so let's take a look. Yeah, exactly. See why we're recommending Fire Mage now? Fundamentally, when a spec has this much control, instant damage, and is also at the same time is unnecessarily durable, it comes as no surprise mages have been having so much success. They're basically the exact same as they were in 9.1, but stronger. That additional strength is coming from the almost non-believable 4 set bonus, which goes on to recharge your Fire Blast and Phoenix Flames by 50%. If you thought Fire Mage Burst was powerful last season, just wait. As for composition options, mages are expected to perform decently well in 2v2, playing double DPS with a rogue or when paired up with a Holy Priest healer, but where they truly shine is in 3v3, being able to play with most meta melee, naturally with RMP being at the forefront. Our second recommendation for ranged specs is going to be Shadow Priest. Shadow Priest is coming off the back of a stellar performance in Season 2, and with Season 3 soon to be underway, have all of the same core functions. You provide instant crowd control coming from Psychic Horror, Silence, and Psychic Scream. And to pair up with that, have decent instant sustained damage with multiple ways to get your dots up. This is then improved upon with the new tier set. Casting Devouring Plague will have a 40% chance to provide you with Dark Thought, which is just an instant Mind Blast. You can then further combine this with the Mind Devourer conduit, giving you the chance to create an endless loop of instant damage, with Mind Blast proccing Devouring Plague, and then Devouring Plague proccing Mind Blast. Then the four set is just some nice, again, instant additional damage for free. One thing that Shadow did incur was quite a big nerf to the Pallid Command Legendary alongside minor nerfs to mana regeneration. The nerf to Pallid Command is quite substantial, but at higher ratings the damage this mage dealt was already shut down with either a dispel on the disease or a shackle onto the mage, so while still substantial, it isn't going to hurt Shadow Priest's viability as much as you might think. All things considered though, Shadow will still remain to be a great utility based caster to pair up with almost any other dominant spec. Shadow Priest is and will always be for the foreseeable future perfect for enabling other classes and will continue to be one of the most dominant casters in patch 9.2. Moving on, up next we've got our two healer recommendations. We've suggested both Sub Rogue and Fire Mage to main for 9.2, so of course we've got to suggest Holy Priest as a healer. It's fair to say in 9.1, Holy Priest was the most dominant healer, providing a multitude of low cooldown recovery mechanics such as Guardian Angel and Ray of Hope when combined with the powerful heal Holy Word Serenity. On top of that, Holy Word Chastise is one of the strongest tools provided by any healer in the game. Having a ranged stun or instant crowd control is perfect for enabling setup compositions, which is what Holy Priest thrives in. Then for new additions in 9.2, Holy Priest received buffs all around, having their overall healing increased by 10% while damage is increased by 15%. This was slightly offset by direct nerf to mind games, specifically in PvP, but still provides a large increase in overall damage. Not to mention there is also some very nice changes to the mana costs of all Holy Word spells, although slightly offset by a PvP mana regen nerf, but overall is still a net positive. Alongside this was a very unwarranted change to Guardian Angel to now, when proc, still remain on the target, giving you even longer to heal the target up to full. Although this will still cause Guardian to incur the full cooldown, it's still a nice change. While not exactly benefiting from double legendaries the most, the tier set will greatly aid in reducing the cooldown of both your important holy words as well as increasing the effectiveness of your heal or flash heal, so for PvP is about as good as it gets. So considering Holy Priest strength in 9.1 and all of these good new additions on top of the direct buffs, Holy Priest is set to be without a doubt one of the best healers to main going into the new season, having multiple composition options in 2v2 as well as 3v3, most notably of course is Rogue Mage Priest. Priest isn't for everyone though, and if you're looking for an equally as strong healer to main for 9.2, then look no further than Restoration Druid. Restoration Druid has been able to slot into most compositions due to their incredibly strong throughput and survivability throughout Season 2. And with Season 3 about to start, Restoration Druids did see a few changes, most notably a pretty big buff to Life Bloom, and a fix to now make Tranquility when combined with the Inner Peace and Keeper of the Grove PvP talent now uncounterable. This has been offset with a few nerfs, including a change to Verdant Infusion to now make it the extension of all HOTS 8 seconds instead of 10. This is then combined with nerf to mana regeneration. 
The most notable change is a flat nerf to Frenzied Regeneration. To be fair, this is definitely warranted and is more just bringing Druid's survivability in line with other healers. Overall though, all things considered, Druids look to be about the same strength as they were in Season 2, especially now with the addition of tier sets, which for restoration provide you with some additional healing from a new healing over time effect, Renewing Bloom. This is while in its own right does a lot of healing, it then also contributes to your mastery effect, Harmony. And then after three casts of Swift Mend, you'll enter tree form for a short period, allowing you to quickly recover with instant cast regrowths. In general though, if you're looking to main a healer with a ton of different composition options for both 2v2 and 3v3, Restoration Druid is exactly that. Okay then guys, on screen now you'll see a quick recap of our recommended specs to main for each role for Season 3. And if you want to make the most of your class and role this season, head over to skillcap.com slash wow. Last season, we helped countless arena players on their arena journey, so what are you waiting for? For prices as low as $4.99 a month, you can get instant access to hundreds of class guides and arena commentaries designed to directly improve your rating in arena. If you don't see the gains you were expecting, no problem. We're so confident in your results that we offer a full money-back guarantee if you don't go up in rating while actively using our website. Join over half a million lifetime users with the best instructional experience WoW has to offer. As always, thank you for watching and good luck in Season 3.